everyone welcome today guys I want to share with you all another cake recipe you all have been asking for more cake recipes so I'm gonna try to do as much as I can because it's Christmas I wanted to do a sorrel cake recipe for you all and I actually used the dried sorrel that I got in the Callaloo box and I made a concentrate with it all I did was I made the same drink that you would serve for Christmas I just took some of that and reduced it down with some sugar until it was a very thick concentrate if you can buy the concentrate in the bottle from the store you can use that also now the other ingredients you'll need for this you'll need some unsalted butter flour eggs sugar here I have two cinnamon leaves these are called cinnamon leaves or bay rum leaves the scientific name it's called pimenta racemosa and I bought this on Amazon you can also find this in my Amazon store I have this available here I have a piece of lime peel salt mixed essence cinnamon nutmeg baking soda and baking powder so the first thing I'm going to do is put the lime peel into the eggs and I'm just gonna mash up the cinnamon leaves in my hand this is going to release those oils from in the leaves and I'm going to put it into the egg also and I'm going to give that away. I'm going to leave the lime peel and the cinnamon leaf in the egg to flavor the egg. So the next thing we're going to do is add our softened butter to our mixing bowl. Now I'm using my stand mixer for this but if you have a hand mixer you can use that also. So I put in the butter, now I'm going to add in the sugar. Now I'm using white sugar for this, but if you wanted to use brown sugar, you can. Next, just beat until it's light and fluffy. Okay, so the butter is finished creaming. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to just remove the lime peel from this egg. I'm going to add the egg together with the cinnamon leaves because I want that cinnamon leaf to continue to flavor this cake. I will be taking out the cinnamon leaf from the cake batter before it goes into the oven. Now I'm just going to whip this. Okay, once the egg has been incorporated, you're just going to stop. To the flour, I'm going to add the salt the nutmeg, cinnamon, baking soda, and baking powder. I'm just going to give that a mix. To the egg and butter mixture, I'm going to add in the vanilla or mixed essence and the sorrel concentrate. Just give this a mix. And I'm going to add half of the flour mixture and allow that to mix in. Just as it starts to come together, stop and add the other half. You don't want to over mix the flour for gluten to form because we are making cake and not bread. Just mix this in. Okay, so the everything came together. What I'm going to do now is empty this into my greased and floured cake pan. And remember, you have to take out the cinnamon leaf from in the batter. So as you're emptying the batter, you just want to look for that and take it out. Next, this goes into my oven 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to one hour until it's baked and when you put a toothpick in in the center it comes out clean so guys the sorrel cake came out of the oven I allowed it to cool down a little bit and I unmolded it from the pan okay now that the cake has cooled down I'm just gonna cut into it Mmm. 
can you guys see that nice light pink color and it's really soft and nice so I want to give you all a tip if you make this cake if you were to split it in half and take that same sorrel concentrate now that concentrate is sweetened right so you'd want to use something that's sweet you were to paste that on the middle of the cake and then assemble it back put the two pieces back together when you would when you serve this that sorrel concentrate is going to be more potent and it's going to make this cake taste even better so you guys should definitely give that a try or you can just drizzle some of the concentrate over the slices before you serve so guys, I just want to show you all that I split the cake in half and I filled it with that sorrel jelly that I made recently on my channel. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe for this sorrel cake. If you guys wanted to put sorrel leaves into this, the fresh sorrel leaves, you want to like chop it up really fine and you can see the sorrel leaves going throughout the cake. So if you guys enjoyed today's recipe, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes.